Hello, in this video I'd like to um, go through the process of setting up uh, Brother MFC L2700DW printer and scanner in uh, Fedora 32 because I keep forgetting the, the process so, um, uh, and I'll be setting up a, it as a remote uh, printer so go ahead and you know google the drivers uh, and I'll be installing Linux RPM drivers these four files don't use the driver install tool because it doesn't work in Fedora although it has been updated recently doesn't work it will attempt to download Debian packages for some reason install uh, for four of these actually I think you only need cups wrapper printer driver although you know installing all of them is okay um, uh, and then go to localhost uh, colon 631 631 you know it's the cups web interface it'll land uh, on this page and then go to administration and add printer now make sure that the printer is connected it is on the same network uh, and and um it, 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 sh it should appear here let's let's try again okay for some reason i had to start it for some reason it w wasn't showing up for the first time but now that's that's the thing uh, because if you attempt to install any of other uh sorry about the noise noise the printer is coming up uh, I actually made a photocopy of something. Anyway, you need to make sure that you see this uh, discovered network printers section and then underneath here there is brother MFC fully driverless here. Right? So make sure those four RPMs are installed and then go here 631 administration. It will ask you for a uh, um, password. Uh, go ahead and use a local user uh, username and password don't use root i don't think in in uh, recent fedora versions i don't think you can even use root password and root account at, at a printer use uh, any local uh, account so let's go ahead and continue so the name can be now make sure that the connection here is ipp okay ipp that's very important it needs to be ipp and it's the, it's the host name on my lan might be an ip address on yours anyway i'm going to rename this because this is this is going to be ipp uh, right brother ipp um, and make sure that you know the the entry you're selecting was it was fully driverless no, don't pick the other one. Make sure that you know, if I go back, you know, here, fully driverless. See this one. Okay, again. IPP. Driverless location. I'm not sharing this printer. And now since you installed the RPM, you should be you should see this in printer here, and there should be IPP everywhere trademark. Whatever this means, select this. Okay, and I'm going to use double-sided uh, print by default, and that's it. My brother I, over IPP it should should be working. Uh, um, so again you need to select the driverless if it doesn't show up uh click it click click on it again it you know takes a while before it you know shows up uh, uh as a as a network printer and then uh, do this and this way you know maybe what i can do is i can print test page all right so it's it's coming up so that's that sounds good and that's pretty much it uh if if you want to use, use scanner though what you can do 
is you can go here go uh, uh, if you search for brother mfc l2700 oh i have an extra zero there um there's an article here which doesn't cover cover installing the printer itself however it does cover uh, setting up a scanner it's a slightly different uh, process you need to do some extra actions because rpm packages for some reason there there is there is a conflict or bug so you need to you know change a rule file or something it's fully covered here and then you need to add the the scanner using br sync config 4 command once you have that it should show up and you can even scan so go ahead and search for this page lukar zapletal engineering pyjama brother mfc you should you should uh, hit it i'll probably fix the extra zero in this article just for case so you can you can find it and that's pretty much it um, have a nice day